On the evening of the 21st of July, firefighters were called out to the Chinese consulate in Houston. However, the firefighters, as well as police, were denied entry. The US had issued a 72-hour expulsion order that same day. An online video showed consulate staff burning documents and other material in the courtyard and then putting out the fire themselves. The consulate has been operating for 40 years since the resumption of diplomatic relations between the US and China. Its closure underscores the rapidly deteriorating US-China relationship and the start of a diplomatic war. News of this became headlines in the world's media, prompting some readers to recall the 1941 Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in Hawaii when the Japanese government instructed its US consulate to burn classified documents. Marco Rubio, acting chairman of the US Senate's Intelligence Committee, said the Houston consulate was actually a front for Chinese espionage and should have been closed long ago. He tweeted, The US is well aware of who the spies are inside. If they don't leave the country within 72 hours, they will be arrested for spying. China expert Dr Gordon Chang told Fox News that in addition to being a base for espionage activities, the consulate also provided support to the Black Lives Matter protests in the US. However, this has yet to be confirmed. He also said that the New York consulate should be closed as well. On the 22nd of July, David Stilwell, U.S. Secretary of State for Asia and the Pacific, told the New York Times that the Chinese Consul General in Houston, Tsai Wei, along with two other diplomats, were caught red-handed using fake passenger information in an attempt to facilitate certain Chinese individuals boarding an Air China plane at Houston Airport. Stilwell also said that this consulate served as an epicenter for the Chinese military, by having students from China at U.S. universities gather intelligence, thereby expanding its military advantage. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, on his recent visit to Denmark, said that the Houston consulate was closed because of its long history of involvement in intellectual property theft. Coincidentally, on July 21st, the U.S. Department of Justice indicted two Chinese hackers allegedly stealing intellectual property and business intelligence from the U.S., and other countries around the world, including the results of US research into a vaccine for the COVID-19 virus at the request of the Chinese Ministry of State Security. On July 20, a Chinese researcher believed to be now hiding in the San Francisco Chinese consulate was accused of visa fraud by the US Department of Justice following an FBI interview which revealed that he had attempted to conceal his true identity as a member of the Chinese military. Two days later, President Trump said that he would not rule out closing more Chinese consulates. The closure of the Houston consulate is yet another in a series of heavy punches meted out by the US on the Chinese government in a well-planned and consistent manner. Steve Bannon, former White House chief strategist, recently revealed in an interview with Fox News that President Trump's war plan is to first confront and then take down the Chinese Communist Party. Indeed, this totalitarian government is now finding itself under siege from all angles as it is confronted not just by the US, but by many countries in the free world. Is it time to reject the evils of the Chinese Communist Party and call for an end to it?